Hi there, do you also hate when people infiltrate your base and leave secret bases hidden around every corner? Me too. So to solve that, I got this beautiful lever combination system to keep people out of your precious vault. Let's get into how to build it. So this actually works by making sure that the person who wants to infiltrate and steal all of your goodies has to be able to know the right combination. Of course, this is easier said than done. Now, I mean, if I sit here long enough, I can brute force it, but luckily I know the password, which unlocks the door and uh, shows all of my delicious goodies. Yeah, look at all that that they can't access. No secret bases here. Okay, so building a combination lock just like that one is actually a pretty simple process. You're gonna start by putting your levers down wherever you wanna put them. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use three. And uh, what we're gonna do is go behind that block and you're going to have to think about what you want the combination to be. In this particular instance, I'm going to do the two outside levers. But you can make it whatever you want. You can also extend this, and I'll show you how at the end. To do this particular combination, I'm going to start by pu putting repeaters behind each one. You can see that these two have power because they are enabled. So I'm going to add a block behind the ones that I want to be activated. And on top of those, I'm going to put a redstone torch. So now they are going to be turned off, what we call inverted. For the levers that aren't being used, I'm going to continue a repeater through here. And then I'm going to put redstone dust connected to these torches and then down on the ground, just like so. Now this makes it so that if the bottom lever is on, you can see the end lights up. Uh, because that's the wrong combination. And so right now, it's lit up. It's lit up. In this case, we're actually doing it backwards. And so what we need to do is invert this signal again, like that, so that when we have the correct combination, this is on. Does that make sense? So we can, now it's wrong. This is wrong, wrong. And that's right. Now we got a light. When it's right, you got a light. Easy enough, right? So with that, of course, we can just wire it up to any kind of door. In this instance over here, I just ran it around to the side, um, but really it can open anything you'd like. You could even do something where you hide these levers over here and it actually opens up a secret hatch up above where you might not even know that the levers do something over there. But in this particular case, I'm just gonna run it over to the side for demonstration purposes. So one easy way that we can use to get the correct combination here to open the lock or the door is to come here behind, come off of any point of this redstone, uh, and we're just gonna go directly into a block like so, so that we can take a redstone torch off of the block to invert this signal again. Because remember, when this is on, this is a, when everything is correct, this is powered off. We need it to be powered on. We're gonna draw that wire over here to a door. And of course, since I placed the door, it's not gonna update, there we go. And this can be the door to your hidden vault. And this way, the redstone can be hidden um, as well as you would like it to be. You can decorate it accordingly and make it nice. And of course, hide this redstone so that people can't just easily find the combination. Of course, if you're on a survival world, somebody could just break through. But, I mean, I assume that you're playing with people you trust. Right? Right. Then, you have yourself your own sneaky little vault door. And, of course, it's back over there. If you get it wrong, nothing will open up except for the correct combination. Now, I mean, you'd probably be able to figure this out pretty quickly, right? Because it's only three levers but the good news is you can actually extend this by just repeating this process that we did so one trick would be to add more levers to add more complexity and that's as simple as adding the block again and the lever the repeater on the other side and if you want it to be a decoy run repeaters until the end and make sure the redstone hooks up at the last spot. Then I can add another one 
If I wanted that to be part of the combination, then of course I can run a repeater into a block with a redstone torch on top of that. Basically just copying what we have over here. Redstone dust that goes down and connects with that. Piece of cake. One of my favorite tricks though, to add to the complexity, is to just add extra levers because nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows which levers are actually hooked up and which levers aren't. I mean, they might be able to guess, but they don't actually know unless they cheat. So <laughs> feel free to just throw a couple levers all the way around. And now it's going to be really hard to figure out the correct combination because some of these don't do anything. Of course, once you have this many levers, you're going to need to remember your own combination, right? <laughs> so that you don't lock yourself out of all your valuables. But there you go, there you have it. There's a pretty easy way to get some lever combination locks in there and hopefully keep those pesky people out of your important stuff. Especially if they've been making secret bases with plans for world domination and stuff. What? If you haven't seen this, you need to check out the Guild Rock 5 series. I'll see you over there.